Hello and welcome back to another patch 6.5 housing video with me Mioni. Today we're looking at another basic craft item. We're looking at the colossal chronometer window which is a basically a fake window but it's not really it's just a giant clock. This is a great craft that you can make if you go over to your um your crafting window and go to armor craft this is a basic level 90 armor craft recipe using five bismuth ingots four horse chestnut lumber and three crystal glass with a 2805 recommended craftsmanship as usual just a nice basic recipe and you can make this really lovely item uh, which i want to show you because i think it's brilliant so let's plop that on a wall and obviously this is keeping in game time as well so eorzea time it's 906 at the moment and as you can see 907 and there we go i love the clocks in this game for that reason in terms of a size comparison with the smallest makote possible the smallest sun cat you can physically make uh it is it is really huge isn't it um i've even glitched it accidentally into a wall there uh let's fix that but um, that's that's a my problem. There we go. Let's fix that. It is beautiful, though. It reminds me of, like, the face of a giant clock, kind of like Big Ben, obviously, was the thing I was thinking of because I'm British, and that's naturally where I would go with that. But it is beautiful. It's a beautiful cr uh, clock face that does actually change its light depending on the time of day. So at nighttime, uh, obviously, this would go darker, right? But the luminescence is there because it's pretending that it's a stained glass window essentially as well yeah there's, there's not too much to talk about here but it is a really welcome item a lot of people like to create all manner of things with partitions i think it's only a matter of time before somebody recreates a like a clock tower maybe somebody who's a kingdom hearts fan will try to recreate some sort of scene like that where you sit on the edge of maybe a um, sort of like a ledge with the clock tower behind you you could easily pull that off i think at this scale and I think it's the perfect scale. Any bigger, then it would be kind of unruly and you wouldn't be able to fit it into, for example, this is a small property, um, you know, but on a large property, it's still going to look decent size as well. It takes up a large amount of space using only one item, which, as you know from other housing videos, I don't like it when they add items that take up such a small spot. I like it when they bake lots of things into a big item, so lots of small items or just big items. You can do both, and the less slots possible taken up, the better, especially with the limited slot availability we have in all forms of housing. And considering that uh, this is accessible to everybody who has an apartment as well, yeah, it's, it's a really nice item. I think this is the perfect size for this, and no one should feel like they've been left out of. Yeah, there's not too much to talk about. It is a beautiful crafted item. Uh, any diability? I don't think there is. Honestly, no. No diability with this item, as you would imagine, because... Uh, I don't know, actually. I would have preferred to have dyed the stained glass side of things, or maybe even the metallic rim. That would be my only criticism on this. But again, that sleek black metallic look, yeah, it's pretty fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, let me know if you've got this one yet. I know a lot of people are asking for housing videos, and uh, that's how you get that one. So go try your market boards or craft it yourself. Maybe make some gill. Much love. More 6.5 content on the way, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.